in the hearing this morning, I think it was clear that he answered the questions where he thought the answer would help him. He refused the answer and placed a screen between him and the questioner on the ones he felt would hurt him. He went out and spoke at law schools and gave his views and other places. He wrote a book and gave his views. I would see no objection why he wouldn't give his views to the Senate Judiciary Committee and to the Senate of the United States. As you well know, I did not support him when he became an associate justice. And uh, I have seen nothing since then that caused me to change my views. But legally, would you... I am strongly opposed to turning loose criminals on technicalities. I am strongly opposed to communists working in defense plants. I am strongly opposed to communists teaching in schools and colleges. I am strongly opposed to the Supreme Court, the federal government invading the rights of the states. And Justice Fortas has participated in decisions that do the very things I've just mentioned. I am familiar with his decisions. I am familiar with his positions. But the reason I'm asking these questions is to build a record so the Senate itself will know his positions and the public will know his positions. Because once the Senate is familiar with his record, and, and the senators are so busy, they don't have time generally to read all the decisions of the Supreme Court. And once the public is familiarized with his record, I, I'm not quite sure but what the majority of the public and maybe a majority of the Senate will take the same position that I do concerning his confirmation.